What's going on YouTube? Today we're going to be showing you how to buy international products from BNH photo and video website and import it to India for a fraction of the actual price when you compare it to some Indian e-commerce websites. We are mainly focusing on buying and importing international photo and video equipments but the method goes the same for any other category of products which they have and you might be interested in buying. This video is especially dedicated to my Indian friends because you are the ones who can make the most out of this video. For all the other countries you can follow the guide but when it comes to importing information it might be slightly different for you because every country has its own sets of rules and regulations when it comes to importing. This video is not at all a quick video, it is an in-depth video on the topic which contains A to Z information you need to get it done properly. So that you don't have to watch another video or read another article, it is well worth watching even if it's a bit too long. So stay tuned, let's get started. For those who don't know, BNH Photo and Video is an American photo and video equipment retailer, found in 1973 based in Manhattan, New York City. They are very famous when it comes to sales of professional photo and video gears. And I would like to tell you something, that this video is not sponsored by BNH Photo and Video in any way, shape or form. All the things which you see I'm buying and importing on this video are using my own money. The sole purpose of making this video is to help you meet your professional needs, even if it's required importing from another country. Before we move into the details, let me show you why I said it will be a lot cheaper to use this method instead of going to the Indian e-commerce giants like Amazon India or Flipkart. Please note that I'm not saying that these websites are bad in any manner, but they have some fraud sellers or money grabbers when it comes to sales of international products, especially for professional photo and video gears. I'm saying this out of my own personal experience for further clarification let me demonstrate the price difference by comparing a single product on both way. This is a tabletop mini tripod from small rig and it costs about 45.89 USD. If we convert it to INR you can see it is 3438.56 Indian rupees as of now. Now let's go to Amazon India and check the same product there and see for what price it's going on sale. And here you can see it's going for a whopping 19,426 INR equivalent to 259.25 USD. So you can see it's clearly going for more than 5 times the actual price. And if you look here you can also see it is listed the ball head and legs of the tripod separately which is going a little cheaper than the full unit option and it is 5,499 INR for the head and 5,999 for the legs respectively. A total of 11,498 INR is equal to 153.45 USD. Now let me show you how much it will cost if we import it from BNH or for that matter any other reasonable price listed genuine e-commerce websites from abroad. As you can see the item price is 45.89 USD. Let's add the shipping charge to India which will be 22.38 USD for this particular order. So the checkout total would be 63.27 USD. And if we add the customs duty or tax which we have to pay later, which will be in my experience approximately 45% of the item cost on these kind of goods. And 45% of 45.89 USD will be 20.6 USD and the subtotal including the item price, shipping charge and tax or duty charges would be 88.87 USD which is equivalent to 6,659.07 INR maximum which is way cheaper than the cheapest option offered by Amazon India for this particular product. I mean just imagine paying 6,600 rupees instead of 19,000 for the same product. That's how much you can say by following this method. For reference, here is the comparison that we did as a visual presentation of the aforementioned price difference in both cases. Have a look at it for a quick understanding. And that's why I said you can get your favorite gears for a fraction of the price which you usually get from an Indian e-commerce website. BNH is not just selling photo video equipments, they have many other product categories including computers, TVs and entertainments to surveillance. And whatever you decided to import, you can use our guide for a tension-free importing experience because we have already gone through that for you. Hope you can give us a like or subscribe to encourage us to cover more useful topics like this. I recommend using this method only if necessary because you have to deal with the shipping charge and the customs duty or tax as we mentioned earlier, which is not worth it if it's available in your local market or listed on your native e-commerce website 
for a decent price. Or you can use it in other scenarios such as importing a locally unavailable product from an international store, for example a PS4 at this point, if it's in stock, have a good luck with that one. Whatever the case may be, please make sure you have spent your money well. So without further ado, let's get started. Go to Bianish photo and video website and once you're here, it is like on any other e-commerce website which you use to buy products online. Just go to search box and search a product name or category. Now look through the result and find the product which you wish to buy. Now go to the product page and on the product page, make sure to check the details as well as the product reviews by customers and choose the right options for you if the product available in different variants. Once you're done, click on the add to cart button which will add the particular item to your cart. Now go to the cart and you can see the product here waiting for you to check out. I want to make the procedure a little bit complex to help you if you're looking forward to import multiple products at once. And therefore I'm adding some other items which I already selected. So let's go ahead and add them real quick. Now we have added everything to the cart and it's time for us to check out. Before you go any further, go to this box and select your home country to which you wish to ship the product. In my case, it's India, which will show the shipping charge for this particular product on my card. And it is 115 USD, which is equivalent to around 8,600 Indian rupees at the time of making this video, which is not a huge amount considering the cargo size, weight and the shipping distance. Now to get a better understanding of how much are we importing, let me show you the details as well so that you can make this as a ruler to calculate your expected expenses for the things which you wish to import. Including all the items in the order, it cost me 1432 USD as item cost which is equivalent to approximately 17000 INR. Until this point we have spent a total of 1548 USD or around 15000 INR and it is the total including the shipping charge or we have to deal with the customs duty later. So let's go ahead and complete the payment process first. To do that, we have two main options. Either you can click on the begin checkout button and complete the payment using your standard credit or debit cards, but make sure it is a card that is enabled for international transaction, or you can do that by contacting the bank or request it from your net banking account. Otherwise, you can proceed using your checkout with PayPal option for an easier payment process, if you have a PayPal account available to you. Anyway, considering the common interest, we are proceeding with the more commonly used payment method. So let's click on begin checkout, it will get you to this page. As you can see, I have used BNH previously, I have an account created already and added my details such as my shipping address. Hope you did the same or it will ask you to do so at this point. Beware when you fill in your name and address on BNH. Please try to copy it from any of your available government authorized documents, for example the one from your passport or PAN card. And please make sure it is a letter by letter, word by word copy to avoid problems during the import process. You will know why it is so important as we go further onto the video. Anyways, scroll down and here you can see the available shipment options. We have DHL Express selected by default. And if you want a more faster shipping service, you can go for FedEx International Priority Service. But surely you have to pay a little more as the shipping charge for the privilege. I don't mind waiting 2 or 3 extra days for getting my shipment, so I'm gonna choose the least expensive shipping option which is DHL Express in this case. It is a personal choice so I'm gonna leave that one to you. Now check your order list and make sure everything is added appropriately and leave no error for a future issue. Once you're ready, you can click on the continue to payment button which will bring you here. So enter your credit or debit card credentials. If you didn't notice, you have also the option of splitting the payment with more than one card as well. As I said earlier, you can use any bank's credit or debit cards from your country as long as it is enabled for international transactions. The currency conversion will be made by your bank automatically, so you can pay money in INR or any other currency which is equivalent to the bill amount in USD. So you don't have to worry about that. Anyway, once you completed entering your payment credentials, go ahead and click on the review order button. Now from here you have the choice to choose your shipping priority. Choose how they should ship your item. You can either choose ship in stock items first or ship when all items are in stock options. The choice is completely up to you and once you did that, go ahead and click on the I agree button. And by doing that, you are agreeing to the responsibility for paying all duties, tax, VAT and brokerage including all governmental and courier fees and so on. 
read it if you want and once you agree to the terms of BNS, you can click on the place order button. As you can see, the payment was a success and the order has been placed. At this point, you'll receive a confirmation email from your registered email address, something like this. Now track your order by going to the My Accounts drop down menu and by choosing My Order link. Now click on it to see the full order details. As you can see, it's showing that we have just placed the order and it is Saturday, March 13, 2021. So let's check back later. Hi guys, it's been 4 days since we placed the order. It is Wednesday, March 17, 2021. We have received a shipping confirmation email from BNH. So let's go to my order page and check the order status there. As you can see, the order has been shipped and their given estimated delivery date is Tuesday, March 23. As you can see, they are sending the items in two separate packages. Package number one contain all the small sized item and a standalone package for the tripod as package two. I think they separated the tripod to secure all the small items in the package or just for the sake of shipping convenience. Now click on track package and you can switch between the available packages by clicking this arrow button. Now to track a package in more details, you can click on the tracking number shown beside the particular package. As you can see, it will bring us to the DHL website tracking page for the particular shipment and here you can see the tracking details of the particular package. As you can see, unfortunately, they have not yet handled the shipment to the DHL, but they have created a shipment label for our shipment. Hope they will hand over the package to the courier service soon. And the tracking process is the same for the other package as well. Just choose the second package and click on its tracking number, which will bring you to the DHL website tracking page for the particular package. So from now on, we are only focusing on a single package, or let's call it shipment number one. To make the video as simple as possible, or I have to explain every step twice, it is simply unnecessary because all the process goes the same for both packages. As well as from now on, we are directly monitoring the consignment from DHL Express tracking page only. If you want, you can bookmark your tracking pages on your browser for ease of access. Anyway, let's check back in a few days. Hi guys, it's been just one day. It is Thursday, March 18, 2021. And today we have received a text message from DHL asking me to submit a KYC document. Also, there is a link in the message to submit the KYC documents online. Because all shipments sent from or received into India need KYC documents or government recognized identity and address proof to be presented to customs during shipment clearance. And that's why KYC is mandatory. So let's go ahead and show you how to do the KYC submission properly. Go to dhlindia-kyc.com on your browser and you will notice a pop-up which says please keep the photos or scanned copies of valid KYC documents ready for upload. The name and address on the KYC document should exactly match with the name and address on the DHL available copy. It's pretty self-explanatory but let me elaborate on that if you still have any doubts or questions. You need scanned copies of your valid KYC documents. It should be your passport, PAN card, voter ID or other card. But make sure it is matching exactly with the name and address you have entered on the BNH website because it will be the one on the DHL available copy. And that's why I advised you earlier to copy your name and address from an official government authorized document when we filling the name and address on BNH. Hope you didn't ignore that instruction. So let's go further with the KYC submission. Close the pop-up and click on the click here to upload your documents button. Now enter the following details correctly which are your email address, country, and mobile number. And down here, enter the CAPTCHA code as it is to this field. Hope you are familiar with the CAPTCHA. Verify the details one last time before you log in. And once you're ready, click on the Generate OTP button, which will send you the OTP or one-time password to your mobile number. So go ahead and enter it here. Now click Login, which will begin the submission process. First, they will ask you the consignment details, so here you should enter your available number which is the same as your tracking number and you can copy it from the DHL Express tracking page like this and paste it here. Now you have to select an option from the type of customer. So choose whichever option suits you the most. For me, I'm an adult individual not representing any company, trust or firm. So I'm gonna choose the individual resident India option. If you're an importer who represent any of the other categories, you can choose that. Now go to the country name which is your official name if you're an individual or as we said earlier if you're representing anything other than an individual please enter your company, trust or firm name. Now click next and this is the place where you have to upload your identity proof. 
Firstly, select a document type. As I mentioned earlier, you can upload any of the four documents, other PAN card, voter ID or passport. I'm going to choose passport. Now under the document identity number, which you can find on your particular document. For example, in my case, it is my passport number. Enter that here. Now let's enter the document expiry date. So I'm going to enter my passport's expiration date, which is also you can find on your particular document. Now we have to upload the scan copy of the particular document front and back side. So click on browse button besides the upload front side section. Now browse and choose it from your computer and do the same for uploading the back side as well. Once you did that, you'll be asked, does the address on the document match with the shipment delivery address? If yes, choose the yes option. Now make sure you have made zero mistakes. Check the details twice. If it's wrong, your KYC will be rejected. Hope you did everything as we said. So click next and you'll be presented with the authorization details. Read through if you want and once you understood, check this box to agree to the above mentioned details. Basically, it is a letter in which you're authorizing the DHL Express to act as your agent for customs clearance. So with this information, they can file all the necessary documents needed for your shipment clearance pre-arrival. So once your shipment arrives at the country, it will not gonna get stuck at clearance. If you understood all this, click next and submit. And you have officially submitted the KYC document to your courier service. It will be reviewed by DHL before they submitting it to the customs. And the review process would approximately take up to four hours according to DHL. And they will let you know that if it's accepted or rejected via SMS or email. If it's got rejected, you can always resubmit or even contact them to ask about the problem. Google the toll free number for DHL if you need any help regarding your shipment or document submission. Anyway, let's wait for the result. Hi guys, it's been one hour since we submitted the KYC document and I have received a text message from DHL. As you can see, they have approved my KYC document. To check the status furthermore, you can go to the same website that we used to submit the KYC, which is dhlindia-kyc.com. Now enter the same details as we did before and log in. And you can see the KYC document is approved by DHL. Now they can handle the clearance on behalf of the consign. Now meanwhile, we are waiting for the shipment to move further. Let me just show you how to enable shipment tracking notification so that you don't have to check the tracking page. Whenever there is a status update on the shipment, it will automatically send you via text or email. It will come really handy. Just go to your DHL shipment tracking page. Now click on sign up for shipment notification link. It will take you here. Now choose the type of action regarding the shipment that you wanted to get notified about. Choose all or choose the ones you need. Now choose a method. We are choosing SMS for now. Then select your country code and enter your mobile number. Once you finish doing that, you can click on the done button. And it will activate the notification via SMS for this shipment. I would also like to receive notification to my personal email because I check mails more often than my text. Click on the add button and it will bring you another row. So choose email as the method, enter your email ID and click done. Now you will receive notification about your shipment on the selected method whenever there is a status update on the shipment. Anyway, let's wait for the shipment to arrive in our country. Hi guys, it's been 8 days since we placed the order. It is Sunday, March 21, 2021. Today we have a major status update regarding my consignment that it is arrived somewhere in my country, to be exact in Bangalore, India. And the customs clearance process is completed upon arrival because we have given DHL the necessary details for the process by submitting the KYC. So our shipment is one step away to its final destination, which is home. But we have a single more thing to do from our rent, which is paying the import duty or tax charges of the particular shipment. We have to pay it in order to allow the shipment to move further. But it will take some time for the customs to generate information on how much we have to pay as tax or duty for our import. And then only we can make the payment so we have to wait until we get a further notification. Hi guys, it's been 10 days since we placed the order. It is Tuesday, March 23, 2021. And today we have received an email from DHL asking us to pay the customs duty or tax of the shipment. And it is the duty of the package number one and it is 30,033.37 Indian rupees. And you will find a link in the email, click on it and it will bring you to the DHL page in which we can pay duty online. It's pretty simple, let me walk you through. 
click on the pay now button now you will get to this page in which you can see the detailed information of how they generated the duty or tax charges on your shipment look through if you want now scroll down to the bottom of the website and there you'll find the make a payment section enter your email to the box and choose the payment option you can either choose the bank transfer or card payment i'm choosing card payment now go ahead and click on the click here to securely pay online button now it's as usual select a payment mode from the side menu i'm choosing my debit card to make the payment you can choose any of the preferred payment method or choose the pay later option which i think will complete the procedure for now and allow the shipment to move forward towards the final destination but you have to hand over the money upon delivery to the delivery agent i prefer paying online to reduce any further delay or simply i feel more confident to pay it online rather than upon delivery it is a personal choice so i'm gonna leave it to you so enter the card information click on pay now enter the otp and there you go you have just paid your import duty successfully you will receive a confirmation email regarding this payment from dhl and if you go to the tracking page there also you can see they have updated that they have received the payment now dhl will settle the customs duty due on our behalf and the shipment will reach the recipient as soon as possible later i received the customs duty due generated for my second package of shipment which is 20764.87 indian rupees i paid that online as well so let's wait a few days for the delivery hi guys i have received my shipment today package number one and it's been 20 days since we placed the order it is thursday march 25 2021 and i received the second shipment or package after five days on tuesday march 30 2021 now let me tell you the total price which i paid so far so that it will get a better idea or understanding and can be implicated that your importing decision i paid the total item cost as 1,7,000 inr shipping charge as 8,600 inr and a total of 50,797 inr as import duty for both shipments so it cost me about 1,66,397 indian rupees or 2,254 USD. I'm not gonna bore you again with another comparison, but you will definitely be shocked to see the price I may have to pay if I choose to just buy the items from my local e-commerce websites. So that's how you can buy and import products from BNH Photo and Video to India and save your hard-earned money. If you like the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel to watch more, enable the bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload a new one. If you found the video helpful, why not share with your friends as well? This is me, your host, Amal Rafiq. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon with another one.